The whole entire horizon is lit up with fishing boat lights. It's crazy. They all have these little lamps on them. Video. Video. I'm Ben, that's Ashley. Together, we did the unimaginable. We sold everything and then set off on a mission to sail around the world. Civilization. See you later. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Twenty countries later, and over 25,000 nautical miles, we are only halfway around the world. I have no idea what's going to happen. Subscribe to follow the adventure as we finish this lap. So we're just pulling into this bay here, and out behind me over here is the South China Sea. Probably pretty good fishing out there, I'm not exactly sure, but what I'm noticing is that all of these little boats, all these little bankers are heading out to sea, and it's it's like evening time, it's like five o'clock. I think they have lights on them. I think they have like spotlights on them that shine down. So we'll see what happens tonight, but it's probably, probably what's going on here. I don't see a reason why there's this many boats heading out at this time of night. All right, hooks down, beers in. You can just start to see the lights of all the fishing boats way off in the horizon and it's pretty crazy like they're like little halos out there it's nuts anyways we're gonna go in tomorrow morning and uh see what they're catching when they come back in the morning the whole entire horizon is lit up with fishing boat lights it's crazy how many boats out there are out there sometimes it's squid boats so you'll see off in the distance all these huge lights way off in the distance and they light up the entire horizon and those are squid boats so they're just catching squids there is a lot of fishing going on in the Philippines in certain areas the plan this is the plan we'll see if it works is to trade some of their lures for some of my lures because I want to try out some of their homemade lures they have really cool homemade lures. All the men arrived back at the beach sometime around 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning so we'll go in and uh, we'll see if it works. Stay tuned. Video. <laughs> Video. Yeah. They're super friendly here. All the kids are always waving, yelling hello, but they don't speak a lot of English. I think they're uh, predominantly Tagalog here, which is kind of the Filipino native language. So these these are the little boats that they use out there, and. They all have these little lamps on them, um, and I guess they're battery powered. We'll go find out, but I figure that's what's going on. It's pretty cool though. Well, they sit out there all night long in these little boats. Crazy. They got their own little anchor. That's their fuel container. It's just a jug with the thing running down. Going back to the engine. Where are all the fishermen at? Well, they're asleep because we're a little late getting in here. So we got to go find them. I don't know. It's pretty uh, empty on the beach, other than their little boats. But I got my my trading goods. I got a little uh, suitcase or old tool chest with a bunch of lures inside. See if we can find someone we can trade a lure with. We'll see. 
Some look really cool too, like, like check this one out. So often they have these kind of, ow, that's hot in the sheet. Ooh. So often they have these kind of containers um, and they're basically used vegetable cooking containers and then they poke a hole in the bottom and uh, cook like food on them. It's pretty cool. Like they're so resourceful here and ingenious. Oh, they actually have a coconut in there or something. No, I think it's like a rock, but. So most of these fishing boats only have one prop, like one of these. This one has two. That's pretty cool. They must have two engines in there. It's pretty crazy though. And then just a tiny little rudder to steer with, which is connected to a bamboo rod. So. Crazy, this whole boat, actually, if you look around this whole boat, it's, it's just tied together with the uh, fishing line. The boats that go out at night, at night time, what are they catching? Jimmy? Uh, with the, the lights. Uh, these boats, with the lights? Yeah. What are, what are these boats catching, with the lights? The pizza? <laughs> these, these guys, uh, with the lights, they, they, they sleep now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. sleeping. Yeah. So I think we found someone, but I think he doesn't speak English. Ah, he's fixing. He's fixing his boat. Repairs. <laughs> this, is this battery? With a battery? Yeah. Battery powered? Or with the uh, engine? Mm. Uh. Doesn't understand. But yeah, we saw them the other night um, when they were loading up, getting ready to head out. And they're putting batteries in these boats, like big, heavy batteries. So I guess that's how they power these lights all night long. And then they charge them during the day. But check out this boat. This is a huge boat, huge fishing boat they're building right here. Gorgeous boat, yeah. Well, I think we missed the boat on this one. They're all asleep. Um, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. They've been in for a couple of hours and yeah, they're sleeping, man. They'll be awake at probably four o'clock again and fishing, going fishing at like six o'clock. So, oh well, we'll have to find some other people to trade some lures with. That was a bus, we're back on our boat, and uh, turns out they're all sleeping. But uh, I'm determined we're gonna go set sail up north, um, kind of northeast, and see if we can find another village here in the Philippines where I can trade some lures with. Um, they have some pretty cool ones. I've seen some cool trolling lures, and uh, yeah, they make them themselves, all out of wood. And then sometimes the guys that go offshore, they have some really cool ones as well for mahi-mahi and tuna. So I'm determined to learn from them and uh, figure out how to up my game because these guys don't have much and I think they're more productive than I am when it comes to fishing. Sometimes when you arrive in these villages and towns, there are often micro economies going on behind the scenes. Eventually we figured out the remaining pieces to the puzzle. There were these large pirate looking motherships that would slowly make their way offshore at night. At dawn, we could see the small bankas go up to them, presumably to sell their catch. It's pretty neat to observe how each village has its own way of going about life, each earning their living in a slightly different way. With a little bit of curiosity, we we're able to find some of the most interesting things in our travels. Marlon? Oh, nice fish. Marlon? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Selfish. Uh. Yeah, selfish. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ah, d'accord, ok. Well, that's one way to carry it. Man, that was the fastest gutting job I've ever seen. All of like three cuts and he's done. <laughs> I found sea urchins. So. I've never tried it. I'd like to try it someday. Maybe, maybe I'll ask. He's big. Yeah. 